Uh, the usual villain talk every big Well, unfortunately, your reign is over. Yeah. But I'll see you again. Days. This is a total post game. She's about one match. Yeah, but unfortunately, we're not going to have enough time that? to investigate that because the Fortress of Fear is crumbling without its mass. That's oh, only no. around. Then, yeah, you're getting an epic cutscene. Oh, the whole place just falling apart. The good guys running for their lives. And their flying vessel comes in to save the day. They get on. And the whole damn thing keeps collapsing. Just what a great story this is. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, it's just like a scenario of like Final Fantasy VI. Where Kafka is defeated. Unfortunately, all sorts of magic is lost. And Shadow, of course, dies. And of course, like the scenario for like any villain like Kefka where the villain is defeated but the cost of one life and in this case it's Veronica to the Jasper and Mortigan. But so many lives have been lost. <gasps> Look, that light. Yep, and you just souls back from the dead. Rises up, all the lights going about, and we get the credits, which Unfortunately, like, you'll see, like, it's cut. Hmm. Unfortunately, yes, but at least the world is saved until the post game, then, Matthew. Yep. It's supposed to come up right. No! Oh, you guys, technically, this footage isn't mine. I had like, to borrow it because, like, I can't, can't get a clip recording done. Look, Veronica. Everyone's here to see you. We've come to celebrate with you. The world's at peace at long last. <laughs> Until we go back in time. And Yggdrasil's in full bloom again. It's so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It still hasn't sunk in, you know? I just wish we really I did it. We really saved the we world. Yeah. My yes. gameplay for it. The gameplay I did was talking to various people and so couldn't leave Arborea until I got Blake. But we survived. 
We have to make the most of that. Can't even zoom to Octagonia because we they try to use the zoom spell. And smile for those who can't. Like, I'm sure his powers of blocks it. Feel like crying. I don't know as that may sound. Goodness knows I do. But we mustn't. <laughs> I can only imagine what Veronica would say. <laughs> oh, Serena. Serena's impression is Put just so... Together. You've saved the world, you <laughs> No, Joker, you do know what to say. Yes, I do. <laughs> Excuse my awful <laughs> impression. Bright impression. <laughs> Baron's <laughs> just celebrating. Ah, here you all Dancing are. the round. Uh -huh. We were wondering where the guests of honor were. The festivities have already begun. And the luminary and leaves. And Come on, darling. Let's go let our hair down. <laughs> Gonia. Looks like peace has even loosened up the Arboreans. Then what are we waiting for? Let's make this a party to remember. For Veronica. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Sneaking off without us, honey. If you've got some place to be, we can all go together, no? <laughs> of course we can. Now the world is at peace, the fun can really begin. If you're looking for new adventures, I know where we can start. You saw that weird light shining south of Octagonia too, right? If it was up to me, that's where I'd be headed. But you're the boss. Well now, this place looks a mite familiar. Aye, it's these funny wee buildings. We've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows, we might find something interesting. painting it's fascinating it really draws you in doesn't it hmm? it reminds me of something ah of course I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time. Beings born from the land. Beings who control time. 
spirits of lost time? Could they be these figures in the painting? According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored how, exactly? You mean like, brought back to life? <gasps> Wait, if that was true, then maybe, or just maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. Veronica. Do you really think we could bring her back? Well, what else does it say about this light? Light lives in Tower's heart. Sacred Tower. Tower of Lost Time. Watchers guard Wheel of Time. Key to tower, key to time. Key brings spirits, sets wheels in motion. Hmm. So if we had the wheel of time, we might... We might really be able to... Hmm. <gasps> what have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? Right. No matter how unlikely it is, if it might be our chance to see her again, we simply have to try. Mm. But the Watchers are all gone, right? So how do we find this wheel thingy? This was once one of the islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. <gasps> There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? Honey, you are just too good at this. So, if I understood that book correctly, the wheel will bring the spirits of lost time to the tower they mentioned. But where might this tower be found? No likely candidates spring to mind. What's the matter, darling? You got an idea where the place we're looking for might be? I thought of something. There's an old tower north of Yggdrasil I always wondered about. Unless anyone's got any better ideas, what say we climb aboard our friendly whale and see what we can see up there? Well, the limerick has got the gears, so we should probably get to that tower of lost time entrance to put it in. I hope that way we can like save that little girl. Well, this will be interesting. Will this be better than facing Tiny Kong? Fit, so I, I mean, cave rules. Infernal enemies. So we just put it into there. And we have access to the Tower of Lost Time. But what are we waiting for? 
Let's save Veronica and Nick. Give can Jasper another roundabout. Not even my. Not even Looks like we found the right track. tower. I wonder if I don't these know, spirits have lost time or not. Better already. things. Come on, it. laddie. Let's head on in and see what yep. we can see. I say we go to the Tower of Lost Time. We go to that Timekeeper, and we show Spear of Time. All right, Captain Goomba knows the way. Come on, boys. It's time. Hey, coming, Captain Shark Guy? I got a feeling someone's following us. Someone who basically salty about an old friend shattering his body. Ugh. Still have... I'm not even really, not sure. It's just like Bowser's castle and Fawful and not really Lord Bowser took it over. Huh. Just looking at his soul gives me the creeps. What are you? I am just what I say I am. And that is all I am. I... I hope you don't mind us intruding, but... We heard there might be a rather special light here in the tower that can... Well, that can... Bring people back. We've lost someone very special, you see, and... Well, we were hoping you might be able to help us. You speak of time's sphere. If you were to harness its power, that which you seek might be attained. But to lose time is to lose much. The path you propose to follow is not one to be trodden lightly. To lose time? What do you mean? Time's sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in Erdria since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost time, savored, remembered. To take a sword to the sphere would be to erase those moments, to return. 
return to the time of the last intact memory. If your companion is to be restored to you, time itself must be destroyed. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. So in order to save Veronica, we would need to turn back time. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We'd need to go back to... Aye. We'd need to go back to before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. That wouldn't just save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. It is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. Huh? Me? The sphere can be broken but once by a single hand. A hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. That of the Luminary. I see you. I know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere and only with the Sword of Light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever. Trapped in a corner of time, a half-faded memory. <gasps> That's awful! Your present, your companions, your life even, all these may be lost to you. Knowing this, are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? Only you can decide. I will await you before the sphere. <sighs> okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Mm. Mm. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. The 
the decision is made, then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much, but some semblance of your present self will remain. Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far, your knowledge of battle and all that you have learned. And last of all, the containers that surround the altar. These are the time capsules. These sacred vessels are immune to the flow of time. When you shatter the sphere, all that you possess will be placed within them. Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. Alas, there is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. But you should retain possession of its twin, the Sword of Shadows. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. Now you know all that I know. All else is un. When you are ready, join me by the sphere. Step forward, Luminary, and into the past. <laughs> Wait! When you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this, I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm? I suppose I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, <laughs> if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. Upon us, Luminary, take the 
his sword of light in hand. You can't go back. I'm well aware of the risk and comfort. See you, you on know, the other side. You're gonna side. have to turn it. You're not sure. Make sure you're right. Then don't make him fall to my aid, Mr. Yeah. Well, okay, we're going back in time. Yep. Goodbye. Act two, Morgan people. We'll see you on the other side of town. Alright. Part of time. Let's go. Take care. And remember, Shit. we'll be waiting for you. Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. Sacrifice. We are to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Friends, shipmates, amigos, Act one. But I know one thing. We're going to stop him. Defeated. The fate of our world Brand depends upon it. Good luck. Good luck. And the luminary is just lying on the ground. It's a, coming from a dream. He gets the Sword of Shadows. Goes up to Alboria and Yggdrasil. You mean the fine forest? Yes, Veronica's just praying. And she knows the luminary and everything's like all tiny whiny. Nothing's broken. Serenica, blessed ancestor, the time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, Sage of Legend, lend me your power. Help me fulfill my duty and protect the Luminary. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? Hmm? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? 
Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, we were so worried about you. Well, don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the World Tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! Mm -hmm. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar.
Deja Gu. You know what you mean, Curie. We've all been here before, haven't we? Yeah. Here's the ball. So this happen. is the heart of Ictrus. Yep. This it's is strange. like pretty much the like uh, almost the same scene. Only I know what you mean. Like this time it's things are gonna play out familiar. like so different. Of course, you know the usual thing. Well, like, the good the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. Light rap pretty much tells that the luminary can have the sort of light. It's Mordigan has the power of luminary and then comes the birth oh. light. Well, that's not very nice. I'll give the sort of light, but this shot. time. He remembers that Jasper and ambushed him. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all. Only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The, darkness. Blah, 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 and then the sword of light. <laughs> and then the sword now of shadow just pretty much repels. To reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. <laughs> Only you can do it. Only you can and then save the our world. Thing. And <laughs> the orb just pretty for the shadows just makes me vulnerable to an attack. So no more infinite coins in their kids for you, Jasper. Yeah. We may have done a Bishop Lodge on the Dark Spawn, but we'll beat you damn good. <laughs> Indeed we are. Uh, this will just be too easy now. We'll beat you. Goodbye. Jasper, how did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess, such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> My powers repelled, but how? Wait. That sword. Very impressive. But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me. Come, Luminary. All of you. Prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death.
I cannot be defeated. I cannot disappoint my master. Flash. It's over. Oh shit, this is destroyed. And Jasper tries a last ditch effort to beat the luminary. Unfortunately. The Sword of Shadows is broke. Star Shadows, no harm to Luminary. Carnelius and Hendrick come along and see what's fighting in the Sword of Shadows. Luminary game PTS. D flashback of Mordigan revealing himself. Yep. What has Jasper led us into? Then Rab tells the what truth. What happened here? Like, about Jasper. Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. Yeah. He sold she his soul to the forces him. of evil. Jasper's trying to reach out like Mordigan. The Luminary is not your enemy. It was Defeat Jasper the all Luminary. And yeah, unfortunately. Curse you. He so this is how you repay your king. With he killed her. Mar Lord Mordigan killed her. Second, her favorite human next this little sister, one of our enemies. Master, okay. help me. Something is not right. Yeah, he just killed Jasper. Faithless I know. Cur. You would dare violent. to betray me, betray your kingdom. Death is more than you deserve. Way to throw Jasper under the bus by blaming him to be the spreader of the dark spawn thing. Yeah, this is really good. I am grateful At least the Luminary does get the sort of light. If you had not brought me here, and I may never have learned later the on, truth. A celebration at Heliodor Castle. Who knows how long it might have continued? Well, this will be good. Who knows how much damage yep. might have been wrought? We foiled this withering of Victor Solari. I was merely doing my duty, sire. And celebrate. I only wish he had been unmasked Strong sooner. Feeling this is going to be right. It seems I owe you an apology. I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Dark Spawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father. <laughs> oh, uh, Jade! My beloved daughter. How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> Come. Let me look at you. <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, Biding his time. But we have the luminary on our side. Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is locked.
It is beautiful. Magnificent. May I take a closer look? What was that? Well, no matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait, you're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert, you are the defenders of Yggdrasil. The unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. Time, I will make amends. I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor.
Honored Luminary, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you in the manner you deserve at last. To think I once thought ill of you, saw you as a harbinger of calamity, called you unconscionable things. You are truly Jasper cast a most malign shadow. I owe you a great deal. You have revealed the traitor in our midst and returned my daughter to me. As a small token of my appreciation, I have arranged for some special visitors. Hendrik, if you would. Yes, sir.
the village, this horrible man called Jasper came with all these soldiers. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He ordered us all to gather in the middle of the village and then... Then he told his men to kill us all. But Sir Hendrik came to the rescue. He showed up just in the nick of time and told Jasper to let us live. They still locked us up in the castle, but at least we were safe. And then they came and told us you weren't a baddie after all and let us go. We've been through an awful lot, love. But from what I hear, so have you. I'm proud of you. And so is your granddad, I'm sure. <laughs> Now, let us begin the festivities at last. A banquet worthy of our saviour awaits. From this day forth, none shall doubt the luminary. He shall be honoured, celebrated, adored.
celebrations and stuff I'm going to go just chillax in the guest chamber and this kind of, this kind of lent to me I think Joe's got her bonehead where Jade oh that played by bunny it's a good thing you never changed her oh all the loveliness in the world Why can I not touch the sword? Surely it cannot be. Accursed luminary, give it to me. Give me the sword of light. It belongs to me. The king's hand. There we go. What's going on in here? It's Carnelian. What? Princess, what is the meaning of this? He's trying to steal the same ah, I knew it. You're not my father. Could... Look at you. You're a monster, Could not a man. Look. He's still possessed. Yeah, blight, what do you expect? The in the waters that something was so if you drop right back in time, Carnelian is still possessed by Mordekin. So this whole thing was a sham? The banquet, the speeches... Just... Wow, that's cold. So who are you? Come on, King. Teleport. Come on. Come on, boys. Looks like we can. Sorcerer to kill again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stop skulking in the shadows. Come on, Cap, we got show your oh, stupid face. King Carnelian just tried to steal the sword of light. Something tells me he won't have gone far. Quick, let's oh, search the castle. Banks. What are you talking about? Jason never stole nothing. Never stole anything from any one of you. That uh, maybe I did from my enemies. Ooh. Oh, party. Come on, big guy. I got a sorcerer to catch. You mean that Mordigan guy? We gotta see the master. Where is he? Throne room. Mm. Come on, Jengi. Get those sleepies out of your eyes. Go, go. Alright. Picks. For fine. Let's go get them. Uh, he's 
just looking at us. No more giving us the run around, you. We've got you cornered. Going off an evil laugh. I think we all know who that is. Now let the king go Master, and show us your true form, life. fiend. Seems like, fine, you got me, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to give you the sort of light that you We're not going to let you. I have been enjoying Carnelian's hospitality since the day Dundrasil fell. <sighs> but the game ends here. I have wasted too much time already waiting for you to lead me to the Sword of Light. And since I was unable to steal it from you, it seems I must take it by force. Very well. Come to Mordigan like good little lambs and die. <laughs> Mordigan, so it's you. I've waited years for this day to come. Not only Jasper, but his majesty too. Your deception shall not go unpunished, devil. You have been a serviceable puppet over the years, Henry. So much. But it is time you joined your wretched kinfolk yeah. in hell. My. You mean it was you? And yes, kind of unusual. You who massacred my like people. Usually, every It was all you, wasn't it? The destruction of Dundrasil. The families torn apart. You've stolen so much from so many. And now you're going to pay. I stand with you, Luminary. My loved ones. My countrymen. They must be avenged. I'm with you too. This is the guy who's had it in for you all this time, right? Let's show him who he's been messing with. Well, Luminary, what are you waiting for? Come, give me your power, that I may rule over this world unopposed.
We beat Mort again! We beat Morgie, Jenny! No! Again! <laughs> yep, the sound of the brat. That at least I got a few. <laughs> oh, my awesomeness knows no bounds. I am the Supreme Ninja. There will be one of us one of these I see. Um, so be it. Things. I do not right. think that you are the only uh, one who has guys, I think. defied the flow of time. Oh. <laughs> just accepts. He just accepts his thoughts. Huh. Oh, fuck me. I just think this is going to have a lot of ramifications by tomorrow. Oh. <gasps> Well, that ain't gonna be good. Father! What the, the boss is gonna. Father! I'm right are you here! Right? Uh, it looks like we freed right. him from Morgan's possession. Again. Jade. This time. Can it permanently. really be you? Oh, I suppose they've had the best one. Alright. 
Let's get some rest. Chillax. The, the last I remember oh, is the attack on Dundras Hill. That's gonna happen. After right tomorrow. that, all is black. Right. Can we just get to sleep? <laughs> we beat Mardigan. Let's just get some rest. <gasps> Wait, Hi, guy. That mark. Uh, Cap, what do you think about the child, the luminary? But I think you were a mere babe in arms when I last saw you. Us. There is clearly uh, much we need to discuss. Yeah, but, is not gonna be but, but you gonna must run. forgive me. I'm still feeling rather faint. <laughs> <laughs> Father, you mustn't overexert yourself. Come on, let's get you to bed. I need to look after him. We'll meet here again tomorrow, all right? Those two are going to have a lot to catch up on, huh? A lot. Where are you going? We beat Mort again. Why? Wait. Jason. Get back to sleep. We beat Morty. Get some rest. I swear I just saw it, Don. You're just seeing a ghost or a boo, that's all. Just get back to bed. Morning, Jason. Come on, let's go see the king. Yeah, morning, big guy. Morning, morning, frat. <laughs> someone got up on the right side of the bed, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, now who's the one? Almost happened. Uh, you two schmoes. Jason's not in the mood to talk right now. You seen a ghost or a boo? I saw it. I saw the black Yoshi with the tentacles. The Hard as it was Yoshi to with the tentacles? The Come on, that is waiting for you. Spell are almost too terrible Jared, to contemplate. Uh, if not for you, this kingdom, no, uh, this I entire world would have been time. turned to ashes. All would have been lost to Mordigan. Wait, did he say something about the final floor of time? A true hero stands Jason? among us. Adria is like eternally in your debt. Just like you are a worthy heir to the legendary no. Erdwin. Go sleep on Truly, you are. You are the we luminary. Have to see the until... Our light and our hope. Jason. Come on, let's go. You're gonna be late. Really did it, huh? Can I just have a little cheesy in the head? What's the matter, Veronica? Hello. Nah, just come on, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. There you are, Jason. Just, well, Do you know how much general Demon Arms in the tent? Glad to be here with all of you. <laughs> I don't suppose. You know, I'm so <laughs> tired. So, but where else would you be, you silly thing? <sighs> You're right. Thanks. I'm being stupid. Sorry. Oh now, Jared. My moment is almost near. The praise and adoration of the kingdom of the Lord of the Mary and his evil companions can do. <laughs> I knew we were going to enjoy. Lord Matthew, Jason saw something. Later that evening. Weird thing Morgan said. We we're not the only ones who defied the flow of time. Hmm. Morning, Jason. The 
bisa tau What's going on? You have been Colonel Lane? We beat Morgan. You know, too. Something truly, truly evil. I hope we can bring our master back. Where is it coming from? Oh, we will. After. My praise, what was it Mordigan said just before he died? Villain army has saved the day. Something about Suck it, dark spawn. not being the only one who <laughs> defied the oh, flow of time. Oh, did you do it? But what did he mean? <laughs> yep, celebrating. Your Highness, please, you must come quickly. Victory. It's Erdwin's lantern. Yeah. Now then, one more. What? Like Everyone. Do, do. Oh, uh, Matthew. Do, do. Oh, Matthew. The balcony. Upstairs! Quickly! Guys, the guard just came in. You guys need to see something. What's it? S Steve? There's something in the sky! Derwin's lantern! Remember? Derwin's what? What? Uh. Yeah, I can. Just it! <laughs> oh. Thank you, Don. I needed that. Wait. Did you say Herman's Lantern, Steve? Uh, yeah, I did. Carl. We went... I went out to check on some stuff, and then... For Galapagos, and then we saw this... The dark just fall from the sky. It wasn't falling from the sky. It was coming... With that black... Thing. <laughs> Wait. Not that tantal thing, wasn't that? Did you see? Did you really see a ghost that? It wasn't. I have never I guess seen it like. Now it all makes sense. All right, let's go to the balcony, boys. Look over there. Well, it's over there. Hmm. Come on. Go to the balcony. It's falling. Let's stop breaking the pots. We're getting over it. Just get to the balcony and get this over with. Huh. Oh, that's some dark skies. At least. Guys, what? You see. You see. Red one's lantern. It's falling right towards us. No, it's falling right towards Galapagos and Celestial Saints. It's gonna get all wiped out. No, it's not gonna get wiped out. Nothing is gonna get wiped out. So, Cap, do you remember? Our lost time. Well, maybe the. What? I mean, that's the soul of Colossmos. He used us. And wants us to defeat Mordigan and Jasper early, just so all he can regain his body. Fucking Yochi. Well, looks like now we have to avenge Jasper and Mordigan and liberate the rest of the minions. No matter where they are! And do most of the post game content? Yep. Looks like the goal posts have been moved, gentlemen. Edwin's lantern has Damn. fallen. Get that bastard I fear this pay. bodes ill for us all. <laughs> That's a trick. Listen to defeat Jasper and Morgan. The Luminary. time to avenge them! I must as ask now. that you investigate. The great star fell to earth in the celestial sands. They can be seen from the Emerald Coast. That must be your first port of call. Sire, I would ask your leave to join this expedition. Hmm. I cannot atone for all that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Luminary, I will be your sword 
your shield, your unswerving companion. <laughs> 